Yeah, bring in Andrew here because he is the guy who said uh, the best time to buy stocks is when things go from horrible to less bad. And I think that's the case here. So says Mr. Slimman. Explain. Well, I think the point is, is that uh, Bob Pisani already nailed it. Why are the low expectations? Why are you know, a lot of them coming out stocks doing well? Because their estimates have already been cut and there's very low expectations for those stocks. You know, everyone, I hear a lot of people talking about how bad the situation is, but the key question is what is embedded in stock prices? And a lot of these more economically sensitive stocks, they're down a lot, and there's a lot of bad news embedded in them versus the very big stocks, as you've mentioned, they haven't had their estimates cut. So I think they are more vulnerable than the companies where expectations have come down. And that's why value stocks, cheap stocks, do very well as rec economies recover out of recessionary environments like today. And, you know, that's where the fat pitch is. One of the things, Andrew, you point out is that the top five stocks in, by, by market value in the S&P 500 are trading at a forward multiple of something like 20, uh, where that, but that leaves 495 others that aren't, and they are trading at a much more sort of uh, palatable multiple of 15 or so. Within those other 495, where do you see the best values? And then I'll turn back to Barry for a final uh, question. Sure. So we know that value stocks are always cheap because that's why they're value stocks. But sometimes they get really, really cheap. And that's when you make your, your biggest, uh, make your most money in value stocks is when they get very, very cheap. They get very, very cheap in the bottom of recessions because no one wants to buy a, own a bank or a housing stock or, a, you know, a, a REIT or things like that. And so they get very, very cheap. And that's when you make your biggest money is coming out of those situations. So I think the place to own, and it's, if we look at, well, what is in that value basket, it is these types of companies that have been most hit because uh, of the economy shutting down. So that is the area to hunt for, whether it's banks, housing, uh, uh, retailers, restaurants, travel and leisure. These are all the stocks that are still down a lot. I should point out that Barry and you agree on some areas like financials, disagree on others uh, like REITs. Uh, but, but let's set that aside, Barry, and come back to a question uh, that, that has interested me lately. And that is, which is the better buy right now? Is it the credit side of, of a company uh, where you have uh, some protection, you're, you're, you're farther up in the credit structure, uh, or is it the equity? Where's the real value? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. I actually wrote about it a little bit within the context of what happened to me in 2009 when I was Barclays equity strategist and I fell in love with bank preferreds at 25% yields and missed some of the initial bank recovery rally. And so I, I think the answer is there's there's opportunities in both. And and I, I liked Andrew's comments about really looking for value. Uh, I've been underweight energy for five or so years. I pulled my underweight on it last week and said, listen, Perhaps you want to look at the credit side of the balance sheet. It's still a beleaguered industry. There's a spot where if you're further up the capital structure, you might get some protection and you're really getting paid to wait. Uh, so I think there's pretty good opportunities in credit. High yield has lagged the recovery. It's still pretty wide. Um, I think there's opportunities there, but I would definitely avoid the assets that the Fed is buying, like treasuries, agency mortgage-backed securities, and buy you know more value-oriented equities small caps, as I said, and the parts of the capital structure, credit parts of the capital structure that are really still very wide. So um, uh, I actually think Andrew and I were kind of in sync on all this.